Hi, I'm Danielle and welcome to Books and Beyond. Today I have a bookish box unboxing. Um, they've had these nondescript boxes, so <laughs> but I do know it's from them based on the label. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Upside down as always because they put my shipping label on the other side. Ooh, okay. Look at this. So this is <clears throat> the Darkly uh, box subscription and... Um, here we go. Oh, they spoiled the book in there. Okay, we're not gonna look at that. Okay, and um, as you can see, they have these nice, like, kind of um, felt, uh, um, I don't know what you call these, like, book sleeves that they put their books in. And they um, actually haven't done these in a long time. So this is actually kind of nice to see that they're back to these. I think they were, they said, um, I saw somebody post in a Facebook group that they were on back order, so they haven't been able to put them in these nice green sleeves, but they do have <clears throat> the top that like goes like this. So, um, but they did put it in bubble wrap as well. So it's like extra protected, which we can appreciate. And again, this is, let's see. Oh, the book of Azrael. Okay. Oh, yay. Oh, okay. So this has actually been a highly anticipated book um, by a lot of people. I did special order a copy of this book from Lit Haven, and so it's kind of nice to see it in the bookish box, um, their Darkly box, which this is from 2023, so we're still catching up on the 2023 books. So this wasn't called the Darkly box yet. This is the bookish box adult box. But this came out of Darkly. The one that they have now is supposed to be the um the the more adult box um so this says love is the purest form of destruction there is Ooh, i like that here is the front of it the book of azrael by amber b nicole and here's our spine it took me a minute i was like what is this i forgot that this was one of the picks so here you go here is our sprayed edges And it does go all the way around to top and bottom, which is always really nice. As you can see, the book is in really good condition, so it did get shipped here pretty well. I like the, um, you know, I always talk about the art on these. I do like this art on it. Um, it's like the serpent eating its tail. Uh, I, although I'm thinking that's more of like a, looks, the head looks more like a dragon, but anyway. Oh, and so we have some art and papers. Here we go. And that is actually really pretty. I love, I actually really like this, this artist, whoever did this, I like it. All right, and then we have our naked hardback. It's got like a cream color with this dragon coming down and fire. And it's got like a really simple kind of motif on the border, which is nice in the red foiling is in all these little red accents that are on there. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah. So there you go. So that actually looks really nice. Here is our spine. So this would look really nice on your shelf as well if you don't want to have the, um, the other, if you don't want to have the, the book sleeve on it or the dust jacket, I should say. You can't break me, Uncle Bender. Ooh. I have heard a lot of good things about this book. I haven't read it yet, but I, I actually am looking forward to reading this eventually. I have a long TBR. <laughs> it's been a slow reading year for me. I don't know what's up with 2024, but um, here we go. The Book of Azrael. Here's our art here. It's got more like a silver foiling on the inside. So this is a reversible, reversible dust jacket that you can put on if you want to do the other one. Here we go. So it looks like we've got like some mythology going on in here. Um, overall, I, I do like this design. And then um, we have what? we have a dragon and a skull. Okay. So there's that. And then our end pages. Ooh, on the back. Back end pages. Really like that. Really like that. Ooh, this is a big thick book too. And it is signed by the author, so that's very cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like this. These pages are nice. A little information about the author, which is always nice. This looks like it. 
I don't know if it's just extra thick paper if it's stuck. It feels like it's two pages and it's stuck. There we go. There we go. So here we go. A little darker. Ooh, I always love when it opens on a map. That's like my favorite thing. And then we have um, our chapter headers, which actually look pretty nice. So looks like it's going to be told from dual perspective. Um, and then let me just flip to the back just to see. Oh, so we have a bookish box exclusive bonus scene. See, I like it when boxes do stuff like this because it does make it feel more special and um, it's really nice. And then the story continues in the Throne of Broken Gods. Oh, so I didn't even know this was a series. I thought this was standalone. So that's cool. All right. So there you go. And it is a total of 609 pages. So yeah, it is. I do like the art in this. I really do like it. I think it's very good. It doesn't look like the characters, they, they don't look um, over designed, I guess you could say. I, I do like it when they look more like natural, like a picture. Um, I've seen some of the boxes where the woman looks kind of mannish and it's, or the man looks kind of uh, feminine and those two things I really kind of they kind of annoy me because it's a romance book I guess um but anyway um and it's a little bit it looks like there's like some glue here um on this edge and I'm not sure if that just didn't glue well but it's okay I actually really do like this edition this is really pretty they did a really good job on this one so I'm really pleased to see that the quality is definitely um much improved from um the spanish love deception which i i you'll have to watch the video on that that one i had a loss for words but this one actually looks like it was really well designed and i do like this motif it does look special so anyway um so that is it if you have any questions uh like and subscribe to my channel and leave comments for questions so um we really do appreciate that and i hope that you are getting something out of this and if you're thinking about um, subscribing to Bookish Box, oh, I forgot the card. Um, they are a little behind right now. It looks like they're catching up though. So this was our November box that is currently March. I just got this at the beginning, early March. Um, so, well, I should say, what is it today? Today is March, March 12th. I got this yesterday in the mail, March 11th. So. They're still about, um, this is about five months behind. So they are catching up though. So this is from their bookish box, adult box from 2023. So, but um, they are um, definitely catching up. So this is villain era, which I love. So I think I'm gonna like this book. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.